If you would like to vault your crypto on Coinbase, this is the tutorial video for you. I'm gonna show you how to do it on desktop. Currently, it is not supported on the mobile app. So we're gonna do desktop only right now to show you how that works. Obviously, you need a Coinbase account. So if you haven't already signed up, use my affiliate link below to get $10 in free Bitcoin with a minimum deposit. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel by clicking my affiliate link. Cool. So if you want to create a vault for a particular crypto, what you're going to do is go to your portfolio of the cryptos that you own. Go ahead and click that. And then in this example, I will be creating a vault for Bitcoin, probably the, the crypto that most of you guys would want to create a vault for. Once again, I'm showing you a lot of crypto on the screen. This is not me endorsing any of these. This is not financial advice. This is literally just me demoing how the Coinbase platform works. Invest in crypto at your own risk and do your own research, my friends. So what you're going to do is click on the asset that you own. If you own Bitcoin or whatever crypto, you can create a vault for all of them. Click on it. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to click the vault tab here at the top in order to access the vault feature. If you have not set it up yet, you're going to see this create vault uh, notification. The vault is a place for you to store your crypto long term, guys. So it includes time delayed withdrawals, multiple approvers, and offline storage. So offline storage would obviously mean not connected to the internet, uh, which would mean that it's quote unquote safer in some ways uh, versus others. It's cool that Coinbase offers this feature. So let's go ahead and click create vault. By the way, do, uh, create your own vault at your own risk, okay? <laughs> uh, because uh, you guys have different ways that you wanna access your crypto and maybe you wanna hand it down to your kids or whatever. So you need to make sure that you take note of all of the ways that you are setting all of this up to ensure that if anybody else needs to get access to your vault or something happens to your mental faculties that you have set up systems in, in place for other people to understand like your wife or your beneficiaries or whatever to be able to access your vault, okay? I'm not your financial advisor, but just in general, these are considerations that I made when creating my vaults on Coinbase, and you can do your own research on those. So you name your vault, I'm gonna call it AWOL Vault, all right? And then what we're gonna do is click Next. And uh, you can choose who will approve your withdrawals from your vault. Uh, you can either approve your own withdrawals, or you can add other people to approve and co-sign on your withdrawals. So let's say you wanted to create a vault and add your spouse to it, as an example. Uh, or a business partner maybe uh, you could do the group feature and then you will co-sign each withdrawal and both people have to approve every withdrawal in order for it to happen in today's video i'm going to choose individual see how this is kind of unique uh it's pretty cool right uh just be aware that if like if you have to co-sign with somebody and they die or something uh, you're, you're taking some level of risk there. Um, and you'll have to set up ways to recover that information, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to click next. And uh, my editor is going to black out my personal information on the screen, but you'll need to enter two email addresses here. So I'm going to type mine in. Mine will be blacked out. That's why it looks like that. Thank you, editor, for taking care of that. And you're going to have to verify this withdrawal if you're the personal approver from two email addresses to make it double secure. Got it? So enter both of those and then click next. Then what you're gonna do is it's going to show you uh, both of the email addresses uh, that you have decided to link there and um, you can uh, basically decide uh, to verify those and make sure that they are punching through and they're waiting for confirmation. So on the screen right now, it's got a waiting for confirmation uh, section here. One of my email addresses is confirmed and the other email address is not confirmed. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go into my email off screen and I'm going to confirm it because I want you guys to see what this part of the process looks like. So I'm checking my inbox and I've got a message here from Coinbase that says verify secondary email and it says uh, enter the email address as your uh, secondary for your vault. Great, I'm clicking it and it says, you have successfully convert, confirmed your second email address. And da -na -na -na, it popped up and this is all gonna be blacked out by my editor. <laughs> but it's gonna tell you where you are, who your approvers are, where your notifications are coming from, and what your time delay is on your vault for you to pull any money out. Make sense? 
Once you have set up all of this information, thank you to my editor for blacking that out. I'm going to click continue to vault. Then it's going to pull up your crypto vault. And then within your vault, you can decide uh, to go ahead and deposit whatever that crypto is here in your vault. You can use the deposit and withdraw options. You can delete your vault, as you can see right over here, if you don't want to use it anymore. And you can click I to view your vault detail. That will include all of the uh, information around your vault uh, that uh, you would need to know. And I'm actually going to just click it right now. There it is on the screen. More blacked out stuff. Uh, so once again, it's the same information that we had from before, your approvers, what your delay is on taking the money out, what your notifications are, and what your history is uh, in terms of all of the transactions that have happened on your vault. Thank you to my editor for blacking that out. Pretty cool, right? Once again, vault is for long-term holders of crypto that are looking to protect it, keep it, keep themselves from maybe selling it when they know they don't want to, maybe pulling it offline uh, if they're worried about hacks or whatever. You have to make all of those considerations for yourself. This is not financial advice. And open your own vault and set up your own vaulting system at your own risk. If you want to sign up for a Coinbase account, uh, this is your time to do it, y'all. Go ahead and click my link below to get that $10 in free Bitcoin with a minimum deposit. Enjoy the wide world of crypto. Adios, amigos.